Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today's video is specifically aimed to the Steam Deck crew. Now, if you play on your Steam Deck and you are only utilizing Steam OS, you know that there's a bunch of great games that exist outside of the Steam library. But sometimes it can be tedious to get all of these various external launchers and games downloaded and installed so that you can utilize them on the Steam Deck. In fact, for myself, in anticipating of a couple of games coming up this week, both the World of Warcraft expansion, The War Within, as well as Star Wars Outlaws, I'm looking to get um, my various devices prepped for these games so that I can show you how they play on all my devices. And right now on my Steam Deck LCD version, I realize that I don't have Battle.net or the Ubisoft Connect launcher downloaded and installed. And while I've done this before and I've even made some videos on it, honestly, I just didn't really feel like jumping through all of the hoops to get these installed. So I wanted to talk to you today about non-Steam launchers. Now, non-Steam launchers is a Decky plugin that basically allows you to download all of these external game launchers to your Steam Deck with honestly a very easy process. It allows you to download and install multiple launchers such as Epic Games, Ubisoft Connect, Battle.net, but it also allows you to install various streaming services, also some gaming ones such as Xbox Cloud Gaming or GeForce Now, but also some media ones such as YouTube or Hulu or Disney Plus. I think it allows a bunch of different options for those as well. The only prerequisite to run non-Steam launchers is to just have Decky Loader installed onto your Steam Deck. If you do not have Decky Loader installed, I made a video about this a couple months ago with my favorite plugins at the time. I'll drop the link in the description below, so if you want to learn how to install Decky Loader first, make sure you check out that video, get that installed, then you can come back here. But I'm going to show you how to download and install non-Steam launchers, and then I'll show you that I was able to get Ubisoft Connect and Battle.net set up. I was even able to get console port installed through this method, so I'm ready to play World of Warcraft on my Steam Deck. So I'll be sure to show you how to get that set up as well. But let's check it out. So on your Steam Deck, hit your button with the three dots on the right side of the console. It's going to pull up this screen here. Head down to the plugin icon, then hit the storefront to navigate into the Decky Loader uh, plugin storefront. Scroll all the way down to the ends until you find non-Steam launchers. It looks like this, and go ahead and hit install, and then install again. Once that's installed, go ahead and open up non-Steam launchers, go to game launchers, and you're going to see a variety of game launchers that you can uh, download. I'm going to do Ubisoft Connect and Battle.net. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to have this set up separate launcher folder. So I have a folder for each launcher and then I'm going to go ahead and click install. Here you can see it's installing the first launcher, Ubisoft Connect, moving on to Battle.net and we got confirmation there. Now that both launchers are installed, I'm going to navigate just back to my homepage. I'm going to go to library and I'm going to scroll over to my non-Steam options. You can see that updated from 5 to 7 and I have both Ubisoft Connect and Battle.net here. I'm going to open up Ubisoft Connect. You can see that this is going to load. It's going to take a few minutes, so bear with me. First time it's going to take a little bit just for it to load everything. And then it's just going to ask you to sign in. So go ahead and get yourself signed in once you're at this point. After you're signed in, you should be on the Ubisoft Connect launcher. You can see your library here with all games that are ready to install on your device. Here in a couple of days, I will be installing Star Wars Outlaws via this method. Now checking out Battle.net, same process. Library, not Steam. I'm going to open up the Battle.net launcher. Once again, first time it might take a little bit for this to load, and I'm going to get myself signed in. Once you're logged in, I'm going to download World of Warcraft. I'm going to hit install. I don't need a desktop shortcut, so I'm going to uncheck that, and I'm going to start install again from here. Once that gets installed, you can see from here, now I'm able to just click play, and it's going to load. Once again, first time, it might take a couple of minutes, so just bear with your system, but it will load. So here we are, you can see that the game is starting to load. We're gonna get that initial cutscene here and we're ready to play. Where are we? But first we need to download the console port add-on, so let's head over to desktop mode. 
Once again, if we want to play World of Warcraft with our controller, we do need to download the console port add-on. So once we are in desktop mode, the first thing that I'm going to check is, once again, I have Battle.net installed in my library, but I'm going to check the location path of where this launcher actually is installed because this is what I'm going to need to extract the uh, add-on into. But from here, I'm going to open up my browser choice. I'm going to search for Cursed Forge. This does work easier if you're using an external mouse and keyboard, but as you can see here, I don't need to. I'm going to navigate to the Cursed Forge website. I'm going to click the World of Warcraft folder, and then from here, I'm going to search for console port. Once I found my search results, it looks like this. I can go ahead and download that. Once that gets downloaded, all I need to do now is extract those files into the appropriate folder. So I'm gonna right click, extract, archive to, and I need to navigate to the folder where my Battle.net launcher is set up. Once again, you can go back to Steam, go to properties and find this location. From here, I'm gonna navigate to that location that it was showing me. So I'm going to deck. If you cannot find the correct file path, you might need to uh, make sure it's showing hidden files from here. Now I can find that local folder, share. I can go into my Steam apps, my comp data. And if I scroll down, I can find that Battle.net launcher folder. From there, I'm gonna go a little further into the PFX, into the Drive C, into Program Files 86, into World of Warcraft, into Retail, into Interface, and into Add-ons. This is where I want to extract the console board too, so into that Add-ons folder, I extract it, and once I log into the system, we're going to see when I navigate into the menu and I pull up the add-ons uh, option, you're going to see console port is successfully installed. All the console port items there, I click OK, and now I can log into the game. Now that I'm logged in, you can see I have console port there set up. You might need to take some time to actually adjust your buttons, but console port's here. I can run around, I can move, I can jump, and I'm good to play this game. Perhaps Azeroth's speaker can shed some light on what this warning might mean. So there you go. That's how to set up non-Steam launchers on your Steam Deck. Once again, the only prerequisite for this is to have Decky Loader installed first. If you don't have Decky Loader installed, I dropped the link down below. Check out that video to get it set up for the first time. And then once you've downloaded the non-Steam Launchers plugin, you're good to go. As I mentioned earlier, as you can kind of see on the screen, there's various options to choose from. Right now, I only installed Ubisoft Connect and Battle.net, but there's more options depending on what storefront or streaming services you're actually utilizing. I'm getting this set up for The War Within to play on my Steam Deck, as well as Star Wars Outlaws to check out to see if it at least even handles. So if you're interested in either of those two games and you want to see how they handle on the Steam Deck or the Rogue Ally, Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'll be dropping both of those videos, World of Warcraft, The War Within, and Star Wars Outlaws here in the next week, and you definitely don't want to miss that. If you found this video uh, useful and informative, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. If anyone has any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them down in the comments below. And thank you everybody for taking the time. I hope you all have a great day and game on.